Hello guys, I'm Rasmus and I'm here with Ben from Everyman TV. How are you? Very good, thanks Rasmus. I'm so, excited for yeah. today's video, definitely. So today's topic? We're going to be covering seven hair hacks if you've got thin hair. Okay, so uh, let's start out with the first one. Hack number one, take a look at my head <laughs> here. It's use a parting hairstyle. Yeah, so uh, what about if, if you are struggling to find out if you have thin hair or anything like well, that? Well, some of the basic signs, number one, you're probably gonna have hair going back on each side just like this, so you're gonna have a bit of recession. One of the best things that you can do to minimize how much the hair's going back is to tactically place your part in one of these places. So you're actually dragging attention away from the problem, so on speech. Absolutely, you're hiding it in plain <laughs> sight. And for tip number two, you should get a short hairstyle. By getting shorter hair, you also uh, drag some attention away from the less density you have. Also, it looks like you're not trying to cover up your scalp, because lots of guys, they've got the big long wavy hair, especially if they're balding, it just looks like they're trying to cover up the bald head. I don't know if you've seen Donald Trump, but he's uh, really good at hiding <laughs> some spots, some uh, white spaces. <laughs> Absolutely, um, and that's similar to hack number three on this list. And that is, when you're talking about your hairstyle in general, try and keep it really tight on the sides. And also, um, when lots of guys leave the sides really long, because the sides in the back of your head tend to remain really thick, even when you get quite old, it makes the top look even thinner. So it's best to just get rid of that, and then there's less disparity between the sides and between the top. It keeps it looking as decent as possible. Yeah, we don't like that uh, monk looking... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> the Zinedine Zidane with nothing left in the, in the top. Tip number four. Uh, a good safety option if you haven't got a lot of hair on the top and you don't want to damage it anymore. Yeah, you should not use too much heat, which means uh, use your hair dryer on the low setting, not the fire it up uh, 200 <laughs> Fahrenheit. <laughs> yeah, using it on like a lower temperature yeah. is better than frying your scalp. But also when you're applying the product, if you've got quite thin hair, just make sure that you apply the product right down to the roots. Yeah, you want a good ground hold, so uh, every foundation is the key to success when it comes to boosting your hair. Absolutely, yeah. and if you've got really thin hair and if you try and slap the product over the top, it just weighs it down, makes it look flat and makes it look even thinner. And also when you're styling your hair, it's key to use the right equipment. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, like brushes, tools. What do you prefer for your hair? Um, for my hair, which is quite thin hair really, I find that normally the brushes work a bit better than mm. the combs because you can add a bit more volume to the hair. Yeah, so in general, the brush will make it more volumized and uh, the comb will make it more aesthetic. And uh, I think the comb would only be good for the parting which you have here. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's useful to find the part in, and it's good if you want like a, a greasy slick back look, but for matte looks which tend to look better with, with thin hair, uh, mm. the brushes tend to work better. And for the final tip, number six, we have uh, glasses. Yeah, this one is one that's really useful, especially if you've got, you know, barely any hair left. One of the things that you can do is utilize accessories such as glasses, to draw attention away from the hairline and more towards your actual face. And we're not talking about like a ski mask in the banks. <laughs> we're not, <they're> not <laughs> trying to hide it, like, trying to cover it up. <laughs> so uh, I think that's a really good idea. Focus on some frames because it's really, even if you have uh, full hair or thin hair, uh, glasses is a really good way to uh, you frame your face and get uh, a better face explanation. Definitely. Expression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and now it's time for the for the fun bit of the video as well, because we mentioned earlier about the matte finish products, which are they yeah. a good option, would you say? Yeah. Maybe shiny, uh, which is not actually the... You know, let's <laughs> test it, because at the moment I've got a matte finish product in my hair, which I think look, looks pretty slick. Slick hair TV. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't tend to normally look very good with a shiny product, so I'm going to have a go with one of them in a second. I want you in the comments section to be a judge on whether you think it's good mm. for thin hair or not. And now it's time to put the products to the test. So I've got some Rusal pomade here, which is um, definitely a high shine product. We're going to be seeing why this might not be such a good idea if you've got thinning hair. I'm going to go and wash my hair, come back, blow dry it, and then we're going to apply this to see how it compares to the hairstyle I've got at the moment. Okay guys, so 
hair's all dry. Uh, I haven't used a pre-styler in here to keep things equal because I didn't before. Let's give this stuff a try. So I'm sure this stuff probably isn't bad for the average guy with decent hair, but for someone with my kind of hair, it doesn't tend to work. Let's find out why. I'm gonna get a nice scoop of this. So you can already see what I mean with this one. The problem now is you can see straight through to the scalp almost all over the hair. So as a result of this product being quite greasy, quite heavy, you can see it really flattens my hair quite a lot. Also, the bits where my hair recedes, it looks like they're even further back, which really, if you're a guy with thinner hair, this ain't the look that you want to be going for. Now we'll give it a try with a matte finished product and we'll see what result we get in comparison. If you've got thin hair, I'd always recommend using a pre-styler for the best results. There are different types of matte products. You've got lots of different options in terms of clay products. Some popular choices, we've got Hans de Fugger Claymation, Ocean Clay, Lockhart. Within the Bivalane range, you've got Gold Digger, Dynamite Clay, a couple of popular high hold options. But for today, I'm gonna give Gold Digger a try because that's got really the best hold out of these and the best finish. So this one, it's got a bit more of a creamy texture compared to some of the other products which are quite hard. And I'll just rub this between my palms to get this nice and evenly spread across my hands and to heat it up a bit. Okay, so it's time to work this one in right down to the roots, just to make sure that we're holding from the lowest part of the hair possible. And then I'm just making sure all areas of the head are covered and we're nearly there. And there we go, we've got the nice matte finish and you can see, especially compared to that pomade, much more volume and height on the hairstyle. For me, this looks a lot better, more natural, and leaves my hair just looking a bit thicker. It's the purpose of this video. All right, guys, now it's my turn to use the shiny pomade, just to give you an idea how it looks to use shiny product on the full hair. And this one is uh, from Servicito. 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 And I'll use this much, and I'll use most of it in the bangs, just to prove the point what a shiny product does to even a full head of hair. So, you can already see how the light is bouncing off my hair. Oh, I'm looking kind of Greek right now. <laughs> So, uh, here you have it. Okay guys, so uh, what I'm gonna give you is a taste of the new By The Lane Zero Wax. Here we have the final edition. It's only in a testing jar, but here we go. It's a matte but medium shiny finish and uh, I'm not going to use that much because we're just going for this natural looking volume and um, let's see how it works. Still going to heat it up and this is 52% uh, organic. And here I'm getting it down to the roots, so we get the ground hole going. And um, really just working in some texture and volume, and then we're gonna shave it in the end. So, let's get some thickness into the banks. And uh, this one is actually pretty good, but uh, let's try on with the brush. Good old fashioned pompadour right here.
So here you have it. Okay, we got some points proven here, don't you think? Absolutely, but now it's time for a bonus hack. You should try to keep the proportion equal. So if you go higher, if you have higher uh, banks than your forehead, it can actually look a little bit too much. So unless you're Elvis, try to avoid situations like this. You don't wanna look like a human paintbrush in your quest for better <laughs> hair. That's a good one. <laughs> so uh, keep it high, but tight. Okay, that's uh, the final advice. That's it for today, guys. So uh, thank you to Everyman. Thanks for having me on Slick Hair TV. Come over to Everyman if you want to learn more about your hair. If you're struggling with thin hair, fine hair, I've got all the advice you could ever want. That's right. So before you leave, go check out our new secret special Facebook. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> it's a community on Facebook. It's Slick Hair Community, and uh, you can check it out if you like. If it's something for you to have promo codes, extra content, you might find it interesting. Absolutely. Yes. So and guys, uh, that's it for today, guys. See you next time.